Hey everyone, welcome to the third episode of Quick Fix. I'm going to be showing you today how to get rid of stuck filament inside your 3D printer feeding tube. Now, I have an Anycubic Mega S and it does have a filament out option, but hopefully your printer does too. And if not, I'm going to show you two other ways to be able to do it. So let's get started and show you how to get rid of your stuck filament. Now, in my Anycubic Mega S, you have to preheat the nozzle gun and the filament in order to get it to come out. It, my printer does not allow for cold extrusion. So we're gonna go into our settings option here and we're gonna hit preheat and we're gonna let that get up to temperature. Now that's up to temperature, we're going to hit the back button and we're gonna go to filament and we're gonna go filament out. Now the auto feeder is going to move in reverse and push the existing filament in the tube out. Now this only works if there's a little bit of filament still in the auto feeding uh, like unit, not in the tube, but in the unit. If it's not in the unit, it's not gonna work. So you do need to hope for that because it needs to have something to grab onto. Now, as you can see here, I'm pulling it out and it's coming out just fine. But say this doesn't work, say it snaps off inside the tube. Well, then we're gonna move into our next thing is you can actually push filament up. We can do a filament in and we'll push the filament up into the tube and push it out through the other end on the nozzle end. And now that since the nozzle is already 200 degrees, we really have nothing to worry about. So we will try that. Now, if that doesn't work for you, the third option is you can manually unscrew the feeding tube and force feed filament into the tube. Why would you do this? Well, that's because sometimes if you do it the auto feeding route, it will just get stuck. It, the pressure coming into the tube through the auto feeder is not good enough to push the other filament out. You need to manually like force it in. So hopefully that helps you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm not an expert in 3D printing, so if this doesn't work, I apologize. But hopefully you'll figure something out. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see all of you on the next quick fix. Bye.